Cue. Great, awesome. And now we're going to move on to the uh, resolutions and very amendments brief, committee. Very brief point of information. If you are using a microphone, talk into it directly like I am right now, and do not wave your face back and forth because people cannot hear you. That is all. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for the pointer. How's it going, everybody? But Chalo, that clip you just saw was from the Democratic Socialists of America's 2019 National Convention, which may or may not be ongoing at this moment. I have no idea. I just saw this other clip last night that made me comb through all of the footage to find some of the best bits of hilarious information that I could find. Um, maybe a lot of you have already seen this clip that I'm going to play right now. We are going to need a party that will organize working people to fight for the demands that we want and to win socialism. Thank you so much. Great. Right uh, quick point of privilege. Quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, point chapter, pronoun? Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. Okay, that is the funniest, most hilarious clip I've seen in a long time. And let's just review it step by step really quick, okay? So you have a guy that goes up to the mic and says that, you know, hey guys, everyone's being a little bit too loud in here. I can't really hear. And that's a completely fair request to make if everyone's trying to participate in a democratic process and everybody needs to hear the, the nuances of discussion in order to make an informed vote. But the way that they go about the for the way that they have the format laid out for expressing these um, requests is incredibly cringy. I mean, you have to go up to a microphone and say uh, a personal point of privilege. I got a personal point of privilege uh, privilege. I need everyone to address. OK, this is just for me. Um, everyone, can you stop talking just to listen to me for a sec? Okay. My name is Joshua T. I'm from, uh, Penskitsia, Illinois, and, uh, he, him pronouns. Uh, if everyone could just be, uh, uh, I have a bit of an issue with the inner ear and, uh, it's hard for me to hear, uh, when people are chattering. So if everyone could just bring it down just a little bit, that'd be really helpful to me. Okay, guys. Thanks, guys. The, uh, completely unnecessary. All you have to say is, let's keep the noise level down. That's all you have to say. You don't need a 10-minute speech to make a simple request like that. Now, he said guys. Um, guys. I said guys in my little example there, and he said guys. So look at this person right here. They get intensely triggered when uh, the person at the microphone says guys. I mean, you can see it just flare up right there. Right when the person says guys, he goes, oh, God, you don't say God. Oh, I'm, I've got I got I, I, it's the privilege on this guy. Nobody's intentionally misgendering anybody here. I think people are looking for reasons to get upset, but we have a person saying, hey, can we please stop using gender pronouns to address everyone? Look, we know everyone's not a a male, but that's not even what guys means. I mean, I was a waiter for years, and when I'd go up to a table of girls, I would just say, hey guys, it's just a, a salutation for a group of people, regardless of the gender. Okay, so when I first saw this clip last night, it only had 30,000 views on this person, Andy Knows uh, YouTube channel. By this point right now, I'm looking at it 258,000. I mean, that's huge. Going a little viral. And when I saw this clip, I thought, you know what? Maybe this is an aberration or some sort of, I mean, it's just 50 seconds out of almost a two hour video out of uh, a video series that spans several days. Okay. And each of these videos is, is a couple of hours each. Okay. So this is a 50 second bit. Uh, it could be fake. It could be infiltrators trying to make the whole place look silly. It didn't seem believable to me because it was so absurd. So I went over to that democratic Socialists of America's YouTube channel. And I watched one of the nearly two hour length streams that they did. And it blew my mind. All of it is like this, just about all of it. I mean, every 20 seconds, somebody's interrupted with another point of order, point of information, point of clarity or the mother load, the point of privilege. And so I've gone ahead and I've condensed everything from that video that I watched into, uh, I, I think it's like 20 minutes uh, from the beginning to the end. And bear in mind, it's cut up a bit, but this is, it's just so absurd. Watch them struggle to get through some of the simplest votes possible and they can barely do that. 
Before I start that, I just want to say I wish these people all the luck. I know that they're trying their best to, to, to make a very democratic process. So I hope that all of you watching this just take this as it's supposed to be presented, which is just for the laughs, okay? It's just comedy. Just keep in mind that this event is um, in all actuality quite public. We are live streaming. The press are here. We are before the world. Um, and we want to put uh, the foot of socialism forward, you know, in the best way possible and create more socialists. Um, I thank Natalie for flattering me. The truth is I'm not um, the leader of security here. Um, Y'all are. Everybody is responsible for the collective security, safety, and everyone's needs being met here. Keeping each other safe, uh, keeping each other secure, and making sure that everybody is able to uh, fully participate in this convention. Um, we have a lot of disabled comrades and uh, a lot of those are invisible disabilities. So it's up to us to modify that space to make sure that uh, everybody is able to move in the ways that they need to move. Um, first of all, in this room, I see that no one's clapping for me. It could be because I'm not engaging, but it also is because everyone's doing this. And that's really important because those loud bursts of noise, even though this is a noisy space, when we can do something like reducing that, that's really important. So please don't clap, shoot up these. Um, and, and additionally, with the, um, the noise issue, like avoid hissing, avoid waving banners, right? If you don't know what to do, show up these, right? I'm sure there's lots of ways that we can communicate to each other without needing to rely on something uh, that's going to hurt somebody else. Um, we have quiet rooms that are available. There's a range of options of these, right? On seven, there's one that has video but no sound. If you still want to be able to observe the convention, but the sound is an issue. There's also in Piedmont eight, a completely quiet room. One thing to note there, please don't go into that space with anything that's like an aggressive scent, for instance, right? Um, because that's going to be difficult for people. The, the principle of collective security is we don't want to put people in stressful situations that they don't consent to, right? And we have to be accountable to each other that our actions might have negative uh, consequences for other people. If you, we're also talking about de-escalation, right? Um, because people are going to have different experiences of things that some others might think is normal heatedness, and I think in some of that there's an inevitability there, but it's going to be really traumatic for people if we're not making an affirmative effort to de-escalate each other and de-escalate ourselves, right? If you are having a conflict with somebody, feel free to step away, right? We're going to make sure that you can get out of that space. Let somebody else step away if they need to step away, right? Um, don't talk to cops. Don't talk to MAGA assholes. All, we're almost there. Just uh, this, but thank you. Um, we, are, we are safe and we are strong because there's power in collective, uh, in collective work. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, and we're going to rely on you to, to make that happen. So I'm very happy to be working with you on this project. And I hope everyone has a great convention. I'm going to hand it to Natalie to make one quick announcement. Okay. We have are two mics up front. We also have two additional mics that are being run. So if, for example, you make a point of information or a point of privilege, um, please, you know, keep your hand up um, or stand if, if, you, if you can, and they will run a mic to you. So next, we're going to uh, go to some uh, further committee reports. After that, we're going to uh, go through adopting the rules. So with that, uh, everyone, we're going to start voting, so let's take a deep breath. Great, uh, and so I'm going to welcome Brian uh, to give the credentials report. Hi, everybody. Brian Laverne, he, him, from Houston. So um, I will begin reading the summary. In the complete report... Point of personal privilege. Um, there are people at the back who are having problems hearing. Oh. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much. Um, Great. So I've, I've uh, heard... Hi, I motion to amend Second. the report to strike the East Bay locals winning slate six lowest ranking delegates who are Shane R, Emma G, Andrew R, Max L, Richard M, and Charlie H from the list of delegates from the East Bay local of DSA and that top vote receiving alternates including Bonnie L, Colin PBM, Dan E, Ted F, Colin M, and Jackie A be added to that list. Okay, there, I've uh, heard a motion and a second. Could I uh, hear your uh, name and your chapter? Hi, my name is Onlin Wang. I use he, him, and I'm from Philadelphia. 
there is a motion to amend the roster to substitute six members uh, of the, yes. Uh, could someone please run a mic to the comrade in the jean jacket, of which there are many. <laughs> I, um, I simply had a question. Sorry, could we? Thank you. I simply had a question on if it's allowable for members of a different chapter to substitute members of an unrelated chapter. I mean... Uh, it is. Like Great. Point of clarification uh, here on what we're actually... Could you get to the mic, please? So point of clarification in that the chair gave a report. There was a verbal second from the audience on the report of which was given. And then there was a motion, motion for an amendment to yes. that. What are we actually talking about at this point? And then what is yes. the vote going to be? <laughs> Thank you. We need yes. to be very clear about uh, the work that we are trying to do. It is important. So right now, uh, we are debating the amendment to the committee report. And that amendment is to uh, swap uh, six of the del is to um, uh, the amendment is to take six different delegates from to recognize six different delegates from East Bay from what the committee report says. So in voting yes, are we voting to Yes. Yeah, so voting yes upholds means... the delegates. No, 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 no. Um, so vote so voting yes means that you want to you want the substitute six delegates to be seated instead of the delegate delegation that is outlined in the uh, credentials committee report. Thank you. Does that make sense? No. Yes. Could could you get to the mic, please? Micah Utrecht from uh, Chicago. So the just to be clear, the amendment is uh, going against the, the uh, basically the spirit of the report that was just uh, delivered, correct. right? So if, or, if you uh, d agree with what the report recommended, then you should, I'm just asking, I'm, I'm trying to understand what, what. Voting yes means that you are supporting the challenge to the East Bay delegation. Point of privilege. Mm -hmm. uh, can I reiterate that we, uh, for the sake of our comrades who have sensory issues, refrain from hissing, loudly shouting out your opinion on a vote, or waving banners and signs that reflect your vote in front of people? Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Thank you. Okay, so now, um, are there, is there any further debate on the Credentials Committee report? Point. Uh, hold on, po point of order. Yep. Thank you. So, Sorry, what's your name? And my your... name is Trey. Uh, I use they, them, and he, him pronouns. I'm from Memphis. Thank you for asking. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Nice to meet um, you. I had a question. Um, so, Nick? Jack? What is his name? Or what is his name? Nick J. They were elected as an at-large delegate before they resigned. Is that no. correct? No. No? No. Okay, then never mind. <laughs> Now, uh, we are point, going to... Point of information, could you please let us uh, know how many delegates there are? Anyone know that? Uh, hold on one second. Do you know that? Uh, I believe 1,057. Thank you. Great. Awesome. And now we're going to move on to the uh, resolutions and Very brief. committee. Very brief. Very brief point of information. If you are using a microphone, talk into it directly like I am right now, and do not wave your face back and forth because people cannot hear you. That is all. Okay, awesome. Thank you for the pointer. All right, so now we are going to move into uh, adopting the convention rules. These are listed on the website. Hi, I am Andy P. Uh, from Los Angeles, they, them pronouns. Um, could I please ask the chair to, um, again, um, there was a previous point of privilege about waving around signs, that it, it is distracting to other comrades. I have autism. This is distracting to me. Can I, I would like to ask our fellow delegates, please, to not wave around your signs, especially during voting. Thank you. Yes. Uh, please do not wave around your signs. Thank you. Um, Madam Chair, at this point, we're waiting for the vote to be created. When it's ready, I'll let you know, and you, there will be a... 
a URL projected on the screen. Oh, okay. cool. And you will be able to put that in either to your phone, your laptop, or you can go use one of the iPads that we have ready. This is uh, Chris he, him from Cleveland. We have not approved any rules to use an online voting system. Robert's Rules does not allow online voting unless we approve a rule to do so. Is that correct? Okay, so hold on. Yes, I see a point of personal privilege. Uh, can you get to a mic or can someone run a mic? Someone is trying to iPad and mic at the same time, so if someone could help that person out. Uh, thank you, Chair. Nick, he, him, his from Twin Cities. Um, this is on behalf of a delegate who's currently in the remote room. They say that it is very hard to see the screens and cannot get a URL. Uh, point, of it may, point of information, Madam Chair. Uh, hold on. We're going to go to Rebecca before we get to whoever is at the mic right now. Uh, Rebecca, are you ready to share what's going on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we've hit the Obavert server too hard, and I'm going to go call Jeff. A uh, point of information, then? Uh, yeah, I, yes. Okay, uh, I'm old school, folks, and it's probably some technical problem that we can't solve. So my point of information is, uh, is really a question. Is it possible that we do this the old-fashioned way and have the yeses on one side of the room and those on the other? Uh, would that be possible for the chair to do? I would, strong, I would suggest not doing that mm -hmm. because there's going to be a little bit too much motion. Could I take a moment just to consult with our staff to see if we could, we could get volunteers to count? Yes, actually, uh, if, okay, that's a good call. So um, how many uh, can... Okay, um, could I get counters to the front? All right, so we're gonna take a hand count right now, uh, and hopefully this online voting system will work soon. Uh, when a counter has gone around and confirmed, like nodded at you or something. And the delegate who brought clickers. Uh, you can uh, lower your hand. But only when the person who's like counting has like verbally or uh, confirm with their body language that they've counted your vote. Point of personal privilege, please. Yes, what's your personal privilege? Hi, so I know that this is kind of annoying. I know it's taking a while, but we want this to be done right. We are a democratic organization. We want to do this right. I myself watched some of the counters not count some of the votes. Oh. And it may have been a mistake, but maybe we need to do this a different way. Maybe we need to have more time to talk about this. So if you are standing up, could you please sit down and get into a seat so that we actually, so there aren't so many people moving around? And then... Uh, and then let me consult the people who are counting. So everyone who is not a counter, take a seat. Take a seat. Everyone. Everyone on the walls, take a seat so that we can count. When there's so many people moving around, it's very difficult to count. Okay. So we are going to take this count again. Okay, everyone, uh, by a vote, all the counting has happened, by a vote of 523 to 443, that passes. And so we will, sorry, if we could respect our comrades. Uh, I'm rising to speak against... You gotta get closer to the mic. I'm rising to speak against this uh, amendment to the rules as it would inhibit the, inherent, the democracy that is inherent to our organization if you look at it, most of the time that has been wasted in this body was not wasted on debate. It was wasted in vote after vote after vote and voting on whether we're going to vote on voting. It is ridiculous, and it, this, this resolution would not save us any time. What's your, yep. Uh, could you get to a mic, or could someone run a mic to you? Um, when we're raising our placards, 
when we transition between the votes, can we slow down a little bit? Because it's starting to get confusing for people. Thank totally. you. Totally. Yep. So immediately, I mean, what, what, it would have to be after the... Sorry, that's a point of debate. That's not yeah. actually... Well, well, no, I mean, uh, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. No, that's, that's out of order. It Sorry. Make any sense. We've, we've ended debate. Uh, okay, so now we're going to vote. I have um, a point of, a question, a point of order. Uh, so voting yes would be right. to make it... Uh, hold on, could I just get through my sentence, please? Okay, so all those in favor of... We already, it's that we already said that it's that's July 2018. Okay, so uh, we, all those in favor of the amendment to to uh, to take up, you need to get to a mic. Uh, would we be able? Would now be a good time to? add amendments to the amendment no. or is that not we something? are okay. voting right now okay <laughs> okay so all those in favor okay sorry um so what happens if there's conflicting amendments so i feel like we don't know is not an acceptable answer but that's a point of debate i know yeah that's a point of debate okay uh, is there further uh discuss debate on the uh, on the convention rules I, uh, there's a motion to call the question, and there's a second. So we are ending debate on the convention rules as a whole, and we are going. Uh, can uh, all those in favor of ending debate please raise your placards? All those opposed? That pa that passes. Uh, and what is your? You need to get to a mic to be able to, you know. I was coming up here to Mike to make an amendment. Sorry, it's out of order because we uh, just ended debate. Oh, okay. The the problem is, folks, if the NPC were to decide. Sorry, that's sorry. Sorry, you Never can't mind. do that. Um, okay, so now we're going to vote to adopt the convention rules. This requires a two-thirds vote. All those in favor point of, of inquiry? adopt. I have yeah, a point what's of your inquiry point of inquiry? Uh, as it stands right, this is Daniel Ray from Piedmont. Um, he, him pronouns. Uh, as it stands right now, can we make amendments to resolutions no. and constitutional no. bylaws? Stand? Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, so all those in favor of adopting the convention rules, please raise your placards. All those opposed? That passes. We now have convention rules. <laughs> okay, awesome. And now we are uh, going to move uh, point into. Point uh, hold on one second. Um, okay, so, uh, so we are a bit behind schedule. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Natalie. So at this point, um, I, it would be in order for someone to motion for a recess so that we could go get lunch, which was supposed to. All right, if you made it to the end of this video, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you liked this video, thumbs up. And if you hated it, well, thumbs down. And as always, please subscribe. Uh, also, personal point of privilege, I'm having a bit of a problem right now with, uh, 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 you know, the thumbs down. If you could just thumbs up for me, that would really help my anxiety levels, okay? If you didn't like this, that's not... I mean, that's okay for you to feel that way, but you don't have to tell me. I don't need my reality skewed by the facts of your experience. Okay, so just give me the thumbs up. It'd be very helpful. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.